Welcome back everybody. In the last video we went through the rear of the quad and we went through the bearings and bushings in the, in the back. In today's video I'm going to go through the front of the quad. I'm going to go check the bearings, um, check the bushings, and I also got a new J Parts Pitman arm I'm going to put in the quad. And um, I'm also going to try to get the steering stem in. So stick around and we'll get into it. I'm just gonna check this upper ball joint. Feels pretty tight, the boot's ripped, but I think it's okay. So I got that front knuckle off, the upper ball joint is okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys, well I showed you guys before, I'm gonna grease this, clean this up and uh, grease this bearing, the bearing's okay. Uh, it's pretty solid, so let's get it done. So I'm gonna go ahead and check my upper uh, upper A-arm bushings here. I have garage product bushings in here. Uh, I think they lasted all season last year. But they feel pretty tight, so I think they're pretty good. I also have, uh, I have adjustable lower A-arms. I have S3 lower A-arms with heim joints. And uh, I, these ones are set up so there there's no thread showing on the front hind, but in the rear um, there's like three three or four threads out. Um, I don't think I don't think S3 makes these lower A arms anymore, but if you do have them, it took me a while to find these hind joints, and uh, the number is XM is it? XMR8. Uh, I found I found them on Amazon pretty pretty cheap. So uh, <clears throat> uh, if you're looking for them, they're on Amazon. It took me a while to find them, but these these bottom 
these bottom uh, hind joints are pretty tight here, so I think I'm just gonna leave them in, and then we'll put this knuckle back on here with the put the axle in it. So let's get after it. get in here and change this Pittman arm. Uh, I don't know what brand it is, but we'll, we'll pull it out and we'll compare it to that J's, J Parts uh, Pittman arm that I got here. So. I thought it was going to be but we had we got it out i'm going to put it over here on a bench and we'll we'll compare it to jay's j parts uh pitman arm all right we got it out all cleaned up um i'm not sure the brand of this it's definitely not a stock pitman arm i don't know if it's a b and r one um it's definitely not stock it's definitely beefed up more uh i didn't really have a problem with this one uh Sometimes this there's a single bolt that goes through right here uh, that would loosen up and then you get a little bit of play in your steering um, But I'm gonna keep this for a spare So here's the here's a J parts J parts Pitman arm here uh, And it, like their steering stem they put a, a stainless steel sleeve right here so it doesn't wear um, unlike Probably unlike this one here you can see that it's worn um, and the other thing I like about this J parts is they put they put a, a, a grease zerk fitting on the bottom of this thing so so the bushing will actually get get some grease where these these other ones here uh, that bushing doesn't get any grease at all um, and you, you can see it's pretty heavy duty it's about looks like the same thickness as is the other one there so i mean this one's definitely not stock uh it's this, the j parts one is, is a little more heavy duty <clears throat> and one other thing is as you can see this one has a single bolt that goes through the clamps on the power steering unit this has the double bolts here that will clamp on it'll hold it on a lot better so i'm gonna put this on and uh i'm looking forward to, to using this one it looks looks like a great product so We'll get it on there. I'm also going to put, uh, I have some J parts uh, bushings I'm going to put in there. And they're made of a different material than uh, than the stock ones. It's a much harder plastic. So, or I think it's plastic. I'm not really sure what, what the, the technical term is. But I'm going to put this in there along with, the, along with this Pitman arm.
All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this J-part steering stem in. Uh, I wanted to show you what, what I did was I put grease. Uh, I put grease in here. This this steering stem bushing doesn't have a grease. There's no way to grease it. There's no grease fitting. So I put grease in there. And one thing I wanted to note was when I was putting the the pitman arm in, um, don't use an impact gun because I stripped the nut out. Uh, I stripped this. I stripped this nut out. Luckily, luckily I had another another lock uh, nylon lock nut for that. Um, what I did is I just I cleaned the threads out a little bit and then um, put that other nut on that, that I had. So we're gonna put this put this J part steering stem in here and uh, and that'll wrap up for today's video. Wow, that pitman arm was kind of a pain to put in there, um, but I'm, I think it's going to be a great product and it really tightened up my steering. So um, the next next on the list is doing the clutches, going through the clutches, and hopefully I'll uh, get some vi riding videos for you guys here pretty soon. Uh, every day we're getting a little bit closer to getting it back together, and uh, I gotta I gotta go through the clutches and I gotta send my shocks out to uh, Derisi Racing. So. Stick around and look forward to the next video.